we're going to make lavash. Lavash is an Armenian flat bread for which you're going to use a lean yeast fermented dough. For lean yeast fermented dough, we have ingredients here 200 grams of flour, 5 grams of fat, 5 grams of sugar, which fat and sugar is optional here, 5 grams of yeast, and we have 1 tablespoon, around 15 grams of milk powder and we have salt 2.5 grams so basically you're going to mix all the ingredients to make a soft and pliable dough so mix all the dry ingredients except fat fat can be added later after making the dough after getting a soft and elastic dough we're going to add fat so sprinkle enough water to bind all the ingredients dough is almost ready uh, you want to make sure the dough is soft and pliable dough almost sticking to the table is the consistency which you're looking for in case if you do if you feel the dough takes a little more water you can even add uh, water once you get enough uh, cons right consistency soft and uh, pliable dough you're going to cream the fat five grams of fat for the dough we have you want to cream it slightly and add the dough till the fat is nicely Mixed in. Knead it well to ensure that fat is smoothly mixed in. Then I'm going to roll it and uh, keep it aside for fermentation for 45 minutes. I'm going to leave it. Cover using a duster, or you can even use a vessel to cover for 45 minutes till the dough becomes double the volume. And the wash dough is nicely fermented, double the size we got. We're going to roll it into thin sheet for shaping your lavash. Lavash as I said it is a Armenian flat bread. You want to bake it till crisp. There are a number of versions where they make sometimes they make it soft also. But making is a crisp variety of lavash so you're going to roll it thin, into a thin sheet. The dough is sheeted in the thin sheet. Use enough flour so that the dough doesn't stick to your rolling pin on the table. On the grease tray, you want to arrange the sheet of dough. After arranging in the tray, you can level it to ensure that the lavash is rolled out uniformly. Ensure the thickness is uniform and you want to cut into desired shape. You can cut into small rectangle piece or square piece, or you can cut into triangles. So you want to cut using a wheel cutter. You can even, even use a pizza cutter or a knife also can be used. Those cut into long strips, uh, which we're going to cut into diamonds, breadwise, or or squares, or even triangles, for which we can use knife, or we can even use the pizza cutter. Now we're going to cut into different shapes. So uh, basically, this single mixture we are using different shapes to show. You can choose any one of the topping. We're cutting into different shapes small uh, squares, small rectangles and uh, diamond shapes as well.
and as I said we can use varied topping we can use paprika powder we can use fill seeds parmesan cheese we can uh, even use uh, parsley finely chopped parsley can be sprinkled on top to show varied flavors on your lavash Going to dock it after cutting into pieces. You can even dock it. Docking can be done before cutting into strips. You dock it either with a docker like this, or you can even use fork or knife. Even knife can be used. So this docking is to basically keep it flat. So the dough doesn't puff up when you're baking. Yeah, after docking, you're going to spray a little water, and uh, you can sprinkle different types of toppings. I said you can use fill seeds, you can use paprika powder, parmesan cheese that is grated on top. You can grate parmesan cheese on top. Here we are, uh, we have our uh, topping done and our lavash, we cut into rectangles and square and uh, diamonds and so diamonds we put a little paprika powder and thill seeds and uh, square peas and uh, parmesan cheese on our rectangle pieces or triangle pieces so which you're going to leave it for 5 minutes for resting, the dough is not proof, you're going to leave it for 5 minutes of resting and uh, you're going to bake it at the temperature of 200 to 220 degrees C for 10 to 15 minutes till it gets slight color here and there and then you're going to take it off and uh, leave it for drying and then you're going to use it as a, an accompaniment for your soups.